new coding concepts, the star args argument or asterisk args or any number of positional arguments args. Okay, so the args argument takes all the arguments that were sent to a method and packs them into a tuple. So it's useful when you don't know how many arguments or what types will be sent to a method and you want your method to be able to support any number of arguments and types being sent to it. If you want your method to be strict about what types that it can accept, then you can specifically set it to accept list dictionary set and tuple and use type hints and my pie if you want. But the args argument there, the star args like that, is another common option that you'll see throughout source code examples on the internet. Okay, so copy all of that code there and paste it into test.py in your project. And if we look down here at my method, when I'm calling my method, I'm passing in anything. So here it happens to be an int, an int, could be a string even of ABC, doesn't matter. Could be anything, even another one. Now, when all those arguments arrive at the my method method, it will pack all of those arguments into a variable called args. Now, args will become a tuple, and actually the IDE has told me that already, but we can verify that by printing the type of args down here and iterating through the args and just printing out each one. So let's run that python test.py there we go print type args yep class tuple and then for each arg in args i'm just printing it out one abc three and four so there you go that's what that is doing it's packing whatever you sent to my method into a new argument or variable called args now i've used that in the bridge concept code okay so up here in the bridge concept code down here my interface abstraction wanted args down here in the refined abstraction i get those args and then i actually just send it off to the next method the implementer method so if i go down to the implementer the implementer also accepted args here i'm just giving it a type hint of tuple which was actually unnecessary but it's there to, to show you and in the concrete implementer i get those args and i just print it out and same thing down here in implementer b for arg and args, I printed out. So that's what you're seeing. You can send any of the primitive types, even an instance of a custom class. Okay, just to show that, I'll print type of arg instead. I'll also print a dictionary now. So A1, B3, C5, for example. I need to put that in quotes. There we go. And the last one is a dictionary. There we go. So anything you like. And in any order. Now I'll send a list. Okay, tuple, dictionary, and a list. Excellent. And also, since it's a tuple, you could say print args1 like that. One, two, three, print args0, and that's the dictionary. Excellent. It's very common for people to use that syntax, star args, but you can actually use any name you like. For example, I can say my tuple print my tuple zero. There we go. I'll print my tuple one. So read that as pack all the positional arguments into my variable called that. Excellent. Python star args argument.